going to dump this gear lube into this container. This is nasty, stinky stuff, too. We'll let that set and drain, and then we'll see what happens. See if we can get this off of here without making a big mess. I still have the gear lube attached to this. I don't want to dump it down in there, so I'm just trying to detach it because I want to do is put it into this other oil filter because this oil filter is pretty well chock full oh, that failed miserably I might say so myself. There we go. There we go. Uh, this is all impromptu, but this is the, the nasty stuff right here. This is like the last of it. Let's see if we can't get something going. go ahead and put this oil fil this uh, filter on this paper plate see if we can't clean some of this up see what this filter is gonna do sort of want to see if I can't squeeze it out just a little bit. I can't force it out. There we go. Force it all out through the paper. It's a messy process. Uh, there's a reason behind what I'm trying to do here I'm trying to squeeze all this out now this this stuff's nasty I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you uh, it's pretty nasty stuff and I'll explain why it's so black here in a minute but I gotta go get rid of that holy cow that's nasty Now, I wanted to explain something on here, and you guys can say I'm wrong or right, 
but if you look at this right here this area all this stuff this black see how it's going around okay now follow me along with this gear lube and all lubes are made from a base oil uh, the base oil you can see has gotten the paper here the filter uh, oily but what we're seeing in the black is not necessarily the gear lube but what I'm you know my whole idea behind this of what we're seeing here in this is that we are seeing the additives the borons the calciums uh, the phosphates and you know whatever else they put in here uh, to lubricate we're seeing this and if you look real close you can see see how that striation right here is if I can get it up here right here see how that is now that tells me that's additives um, the way that it's spreading out that's an additive that is not an oil that is not a base oil so all this black that we're seeing is an oxidized in other words a burnt when we talk about oxidation oxidation is rust oxidation is a piece of wood burning uh, except at a faster rate whereas rust is a slower rate well the additives here are essentially burned because they've essentially change to a carbon black so we have all these uh, things going on here with this gear lube and the idea behind it all is we want to see you know if you look at this paper here you know that I went out I don't see anything okay so we have these two papers here and I'm going to set this one off to the side and uh, we're going to take and do a small test and this small test just so happens to include this now this is just a you know a magnet they sell them at gas stations and Walmarts and every place else pretty strong magnet so what we're going to do is roll this around here in this filter because I remember I filtered everything through here uh, small catastrophe on some of the oil but or the gear lube but uh, again we're just going to roll this through and then I'm going to try to just get the oil off and see what we got here now rolling this around now keep it keep in mind that you know this is all the bottom of the barrel so to speak but in this uh, oil or gear lube I'm rolling around here it should grab a hold of everything it's gonna grab a hold of everything you know of course we got our ferrous and non ferrous metals uh, such as uh, what's gonna stick to the magnet and the magnets gonna be of course the irons now the aluminums won't stick so if there's aluminum in here uh, we won't necessarily know what is there but I'm not seeing a lot on here now I'm just going to try to dry it off just a little bit to see if there's any particles sticking to it now me drying this off isn't necessarily going to show anything but what I'm getting out of this is I'm not seeing any metal okay I'm not seeing an iron here if there is there's very little so that's a good thing this gear lube was you know the PTUs in here are, are in decent shape now that's to the human eye okay what do the lab test results say I don't know I'm not gonna test this stuff because it's a mix of two different uh, PTUs so it'd be totally useless for me to test it but what I am seeing is there's nothing on this magnet to indicate any metal on it okay so that's a good thing now granted I'm not picking up the uh, 
uh, how do you say it, the, the aluminum or anything like that. But the good thing about this is, is we're not seeing anything that I would consider metals in here. Now this one either, I'm not picking anything up. We could roll the, roll the dice, so to speak, through this one, since this was the concentrated one. But, again, we're not picking anything up out of this. Nothing. There's nothing that's coming out of this. So, uh, overall, folks, uh, the black stuff that you're seeing is the additives that are getting ate up during the process of it running. And uh, that's why you see the black. Uh, if you notice, the outside of this is all oily. See, it's all oily. That is your mineral oil, or highly refined, uh, hydro-cracked, or whatever oils. Depends if it's a synthetic or a other type of oil. But uh, this here... You can see the difference with the oil if, if you can't see it on the camera. This is full of the the essentially the the uh, oxidized added you know additives that are in there, and then this on the outside is that. So you see this black. This is additive. Okay, you can't get it all out of here. Now you can't do that, and I don't see anything in here. And I could just drop that thing in there and that mag magnet. And then uh, can try to pull it out and see if it pulls anything that would be considered metal. And I really don't find anything. And this is, of course, nasty. Nothing you can do about it, but uh, my hands are dirty because of it, but I'm not seeing anything that would indicate that this is going to these PTUs had any big metal issues going on now the the lab test results would probably show higher particulates than what I'm than what I can feel or see so uh, there's no doubt in my mind the particulate level would be higher than what we can discern from the naked eye but uh, the good news is for these two gentlemen that I did pull the samples from on their PTUs is I think they're in good shape based on just this observation of the oil and the magnet results uh, you know particulate level testing of their oils would probably be something a little different but if they were in really bad shape we'd be finding something and we really aren't finding anything right now uh, so uh, testing will always prove that but in this case uh, I think they're I think they're good to go uh, just keep those fluids changed to keep them topped off and if you got leaks get them repaired but uh, essentially that's it for the PTU uh, oil and as you can see my hands vice the black all the carbon all the ate up stuff is getting onto these rags that's why you see it black okay otherwise my hands are starting to get oily so you know the mineral oil vice the additives that's why you're seeing these markings and striations in here those are the additives that are in the oil for the gear loop uh, so that should answer your question why this is this way why the black why the oil on the outside two different critters going on here and your additives are what are getting burned up used up during the heating process whereas the oil is not necessarily being damaged so uh, but the oil does not provide all the lubrication that you need the oil the mineral oils they use are essentially nothing more than a carrier for the additives and certain uh, types of oils are better carriers for the for the additives so just keep that in mind but overall uh, that's all you're seeing folks this is all just burn up uh, oxidized uh, uh, additives and that is why you want to change your gear lube often to get these burned up particulates out of your uh, gear lube and replaced with fresh this is Mac T Hope that this uh, helped you in here in Mac T Garage in discerning whether or not uh, these oils are here. Make sure you join up at Mac T Garage on Facebook. And also make sure you uh, go check out MacTGarage.com. Uh, got some great music after this and also some one-liners from Mercy Girl. And uh, my feet hit the floor today and I'm hoping you have a great day just like I am. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos.
remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.